Hello guys, in this video we'll build Process Manager, a desktop application with Tori 2.0 using Rust. Previously on my YouTube channel we have built applications with Tori 1.x but Tori 2.0 which has been released recently is purely a game changer not just for desktop development but when it comes to cross-platform development especially mobile app development for Android and iOS which we'll cover in the later videos. The purpose of this video is to get an overview of Tori 2.0. Previously while working with Tori 1.x, after we have our project structure, we had to perform lots of configuration changes, manual changes to make it work for our desktop application. But with Tori 2.0, everything is automated and covered under the hood. We have to just run bunch of commands, write our code and run our application, which we'll see in a minute. Also, as we get an overview of Tori 2.0, as you guys know, on this channel, I prefer project-based learning. So we'll build this process manager application, basic desktop application, where we'll list down all the process running on our OS, our app machine, and we'll display a bit of OS information as well, and a few commands as well. For example, delete, which can kill the process directly from the UI. And Along the way, we can add a bunch of other similar operations. While doing so, we'll also get an overview of how can we deal with such OS information using Rust. And as I mentioned, we'll be building a desktop application. So let's begin. Now, before we start, there is a link to my Discord in description. Make sure you join it. If you haven't joined, you are missing out on a lot of tips and discussions that we do on my Discord. So make sure you join. Now, first of all, make sure you are in a nice and clean project. Open the terminal. Now, I'll be using Yarn as the package manager for this video. And if you don't have Yarn installed on your machine, so I'll drop the link to the installation guide. Make sure you install irrespective of which OS are you running. It should be pretty straightforward to install Yarn on your machine. Now, once you have Yarn installed on your machine, just do Yarn create Tori app. Now, as you can see, we have our process manager directory and inside we have our project with SRC Tori, which is our Rust project. Now, the next step is to install Tori CLI. So we'll just head to our project and we'll just run this command to install Tori CLI. Make sure to add it as a dev dependency with a dash T flag. So we have our uh, CLI ready and we can just now do yarn Tori dev to literally run our application. We don't need any custom configuration changes, any manual effort which we had uh, or required uh, in Tori 1.x but no need running right now. We'll just start our development. Now we'll start with the business logic where we'll add our Tori commands and then we'll move to the front end or the UI part. So first of all, move to the cargo terminal file and here we'll add a dependency that we need, which is sysinfo to access our system info and process info basically. Now, once you add this dependency, move to src librs and here we have the default tori greet command, which we'll just remove and let's add our own commands. The first command that we have is to return the OS name. So OS name or get OS name and just an static str const OS. Now this would run respective of which uh, which operating system you are working on, either Windows, Linux, uh, Mac, it will just return your OS name. And then we have a struct process info which will use to return a vector of our, our process with IDs. So string and on top derive serialize deserialize and then a Tori command to list the process. So list process and this would return a vector of process info. So again a Tori command and here we'll just add an instance to 
access info and new all to get all the information ready and then we can just do a refresh and sys dot processes iter map and here we just iterate on id comma process collect and what we do here is process info id as id dot to string and name as process dot name to string lucy dot into ont so this is our second tori command now the last tori command that we have today is to kill so kill by id and we pass the id and we return bool and same here and then what we do is sys dot processes iter find and here we just try to find our process so pid and pid dot to string dot eq ignore cas and id if any id is matched then default is false and if we found something then we use that process and call process dot kill now process dot kill returns a boolean after killing so if process is terminated it returns true otherwise false and default is false so this is to kill the process now tori command so we have three tori commands kill by id list process and os name now let's add it here list process and kill by id so there we have all the commands and our business logic ready now what i would recommend you guys here is this uh crate that we are using provides tons of information about processes and your os and what's on your system you can add more commands as well and feel free to share the ideas in the comments as well even your git repo i'll be happy to review your code and understand uh, the different ideas or commands that you come up with for me i'll just stick with these three and now we'll move to our fr front end part our ui where we'll display all of this information and run our command so let's go to our ui now for the ui part head to our project and in app dsx we'll just remove all of the greet code that we have for greetings now here we'll add a type which is process info id as string and name is string and then our component so react fc and now here we'll just say const os name set os name and use state initially as string and now same const processes set processes and use state similarly process info array initially as empty array now once we have our uh, app and state now we'll use use fact to immediately uh, fetch our information and display so async and function fetch data to fetch the information so const os await invoke the tori command 
which is from our Tori core that we have. And here we'll just do process info, sorry, OS, plus we have a string, so we are returning a string, so let's accept a string. And here we'll just use the name to execute OS name. Similarly, const process list await invoke and process info as an array which is from here we return from the list process so we have our list process we have our os and then we'll just do sort set os name set os set processes and process list so we have our fetch data now let's call it so we have our fetch data ready now similarly we have a, another function for delete so function delete process and we just pass the id const success await invoke another tori command that returns boolean and the name is kill process kill by id or kill process by id and then we pass our arguments which is id so if success we just set processes and what we do is previous processes and previous processes dot filter p p dot id not equals to id so what we do is if delete is success we just say remove from the front end from the ui as well after the delete is success remember after the delete is success we just remove from the ui as well that process now another way is you can just repent as well but i'll just stick with this and then we return our component or ui so here we'll just add a bunch of basic html and man last name as container and an h2 which says operating system os name and then we have a div and we add class name as process list and then we'll just do is iterate and add our process so what we can do is processes dot map process and what we do here is div and key as process dot id and class name as process item then we have a span and what we do here is process dot name and id as process dot id and a button which is button and on click we just execute delete process and pass the process id and then this button as delete or let's call it kill that's pretty much all that we need for our ui and we'll just export default app export our component and now let's add bit of CSS 
so no point in wasting time on css i just add it here and i'll share the css with a link to my git uh, in the description so you guys can copy and use the same css because uh, i just don't like writing css because it's just waste of time you know so we have our app tsx and here we have our uh, component and then we have our delete process our container and finally on top let's import our css so this is how our formatted application uh, logic looks like the front end logic the component where we fetch the data we set it in the state and then when delete is called we just kill the process otherwise this is pretty much basic or simple ui that we have now let's go ahead and run our application and test it now just head to the terminal and make sure you are in the project directory and then just do yarn tori dev so here you go the first look of our application nice and clean with operating system as mac os for me and process with a kill button now let's say there are process like nodes or calendar or something that i want to close or even for for that matter an id i can just press the skill and it's literally closed from my application and i don't see now in the list as well so you guys can go ahead and add a bunch of different commands like you know filter search or any other commands which could make it easy for you guys to just trigger this ui and then so that's it for our process manager application now as far as story 2.0 is concerned uh, as you guys just has got an overview of how simple and straightforward it is to build applications with story you just have to select your flavors from the uh, command line and then get a project structure and start working and along with that i'll drop the documentation of story in case if you are interested you can check it out and in the following videos we'll also cover the mobile app development with tori as well so make sure you are tuned and subscribe to my channel that's it thank you bye bye